What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's video, I'm going to quickly show you how to connect your MacBook device into an external monitor in here. This can be a monitor, it can be a projector, it could be a TV, for example, so you can actually get a much bigger image representation here or if you want to present something and you want to connect your macbook into it in order to project the image into your external monitor hey my name is Shaq, and in this channel i help you fixing tech related issues and i also share cool tech hacks and fixes so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now, in order to do this, you're gonna need a couple things. Of course, you're gonna need a monitor, which in my case is a 32 inches monitor. You're gonna need your laptop, of course, and then you're gonna need a few other things such as an HDMI cable, which is something that should look like this, okay? This is my HDMI cable, which is very important to have a good quality of HDMI cable in order to project good quality image. Next up, you're gonna need a USB-C to HDMI adapter, okay? So it doesn't necessarily need to be a USB-C to adapter because this depends on the ports that you've got on your MacBook. In my case, I've got a MacBook that only supports Type-C entrance. So in that case, I'm gonna need a Type-C to HDMI adapter, okay? I've got in here an adapter that offers me various inputs in here, but if you want something much cheaper, you can get something that gets you an HDMI adapter entrance only. That's going to be much cheaper than something that has a lot of ports in here. Now, before buying the adapter, you need to double check the ports that you've got in here on your MacBook device, right? In my case, I've got in here only Type-C entrances on this side. On this side as well, I only have Type-C entrances, right? If you've got an old MacBook with an HDMI port in here, you can connect the HDMI port directly into your monitor. Now, if you've got something that has a different entrance in here, such as a USB, you can as well search for a different adapter that actually provides a solution for your need. In my case, it's a Type-C to HDMI because I'm using a 2019 MacBook Pro in here. Most of the MacBooks are gonna need a Type-C to HDMI adapter, which is gonna be something close to this, right? Now, next up, we need to actually get to the back of our monitor or our TV, right? So here we go, I'm giving a look here, for example, at the back of my monitor, and as you can see, we've got in here an HDMI port. So HDMI stands for high definition, uh, and for example, we've got in here a different port, which is the VGA, which is an old system, which is no longer used anymore. I wouldn't recommend you guys to connect it into the VGA. So make sure you connect to your HDMI port in here, the HDMI cable, and then proceed with the tutorial, okay? So in my case, my monitor has a power cable in here, for example. We're gonna connect the power cable, and then you're gonna connect the HDMI entrance cable in here, right? So let's quickly do this. Here we go. Here's my HDMI cable. Simply connect into it and then we'll continue with the other end here which will go into my MacBook device. Now next up, the next thing we're going to be doing in here is connecting the other end of the HDMI cable into this Type-C to HDMI adapter, right? Now we're pretty much good to go and the next thing we need to do is simply open up our MacBook device. So here we go, this is my MacBook device, I'm going to open up quick it's very important for you to open it up before you connect it. Otherwise, it might not recognize, okay? So once this is done, you're gonna unlock your MacBook and then you're gonna connect this end into your Mac device in here, okay? So it's a Type-C port, I've connected it. Here we go, it's connected into my monitor and it should recognize, boom, here we go. It already recognized. It should recognize here on your external monitor that you've connected a specific device by means of the HDMI cable or port right now if this is done and it doesn't recognize what I would recommend you guys to do is to actually disconnect the cable from the computer and then reconnect it disconnect reconnect it and try to see if it picks up right now if it doesn't pick up you probably need to change the image source on your external monitor 
or your TV. And in order for you to do that, you need to actually get a remote control or tap on the buttons here at the back of your device in order to check, right? For example, I've typed once there at a button and as you can see, we've got here settings that actually showed up, right? So the idea is to actually check down here the source okay for example there's an option in here which says signal source right as you can see we've got the signal source set to hdmi it's very important every single uh monitor or tv will have something like this right in my case my monitor automatically picks up the source depending on which source you actually connect into your device most of the monitors are going to behave this way but just in case it doesn't show up you actually need to change the source at the back and here we go we do now have everything connected in here as you can see I can pretty much do anything here from my computer and it's gonna project it here into my external monitor in here and this is super super useful so you can actually present something you can actually watch a movie on a larger screen you can actually get good view of stats or kpis if you're working and you want to be more productive and at the end you can also connect it into clamshell mode clamshell mode means that you can actually have your macbook connected while it's actually closed okay for example this is super cool let me quickly show it to you for example you've got in here my MacBook connected, right? And let's say they don't want to close it and use it as a desktop device. So in order for you to do this, you just need to connect your device into the charger, okay? And this is how it goes. Here we go. My charger will now be connected into my laptop device. Here we go. I've already connected it. And as soon as you connect, you can simply close your monitor and you'll be able to still access the image that you've got from your device so your device now is acting as a desktop and no matter where you're gonna keep it it's gonna work and you can actually navigate and use your mac now of course you can't access your keyboard right now or your trackpad so what i would recommend you guys if you use it in clamshell mode connect a bluetooth keyboard or a bluetooth mouse so you can actually navigate wirelessly okay this is super useful and you actually save a lot of your battery because your screen is actually on slip mode and you do not need to actually use it, right? This is super, super useful. And I would like to deeply thank all of you guys for supporting the YouTube channel Fixed by Shaq. We're now crossing 40,000 subscribers and this wouldn't be possible without you guys. The main aim of this channel is to help people fix tech related issues so you can save up some money and avoid paying high fees for something that you can do on your your own. If you find my content useful here, do not forget to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment below and also share with your friends the videos here which are in the YouTube channel. Because by doing so, you're actually helping the channel growing and to reach out to more people and ultimately help more people fixing tech related issues. Thank you so much for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next video.